guys. So uh, it's been a while since we got to go out. Last we were fishing the Wahoo tournament. Fortunately, it's been rough and windy for about the past two months. So we weren't able to finish that. Um, did pretty good in the two days, but not quite enough. So we finally got the chance to go out today. We started the morning off. We found plenty of live bait, good sized pogies. Made some casts on them and took off. Straight ahead. I'm starting to mark stuff. We got maybe 15 miles offshore and it was just pretty pretty choppy, pretty sloppy. So we, uh, we stopped there, um, started bottom fishing, trying to catch some sea bass and stuff like that. Rigs, little uh, four alt circle hooks, two hooks per line, 50 pound line, eight ounce sinker. Uh, our rods had braid on it so it could get down easier. We would just move around, work at different spots, and we'd move further out. So we went out to uh, some wrecks um, about 27 miles out, and we marked some really nice wrecks. I mean, really clear markings, and there was a lot of amberjack, and spade fish, and stuff like that on them. But bottom fishing was just dead out there. Nothing was going on. You know, we weren't even getting grunts. Usually, you know, fish are there. You'll get something. You'll get a uh, little fish, little sea bass, grunts, something. Also, I had fun during the day um, on the flat line. We like to put a flat line out while we're bottom fishing. Kind of like a, a bonus catch. You know, you don't have to do anything with it. You just put out a bait. We put out a pogey on a little kingfish rig little treble hooks and cable hoping to pull out a kingfish and we did we got a kingfish first kingfish of the year but we also got a lot of amberjack amberjack love coming up and hitting that and they're a tough fight especially on that because it's light line and it's small hooks so you can't put a lot of pressure because it'll bend them or just pull through Finally, the last spot, uh, we marked a, a ledge kind of in between two spots, and we'd start and hit, we started hitting that. And it was a real small ledge, and the current was moving kind of fast. So basically, we we drive up to it, we drop down, and we usually get a couple of sea bass, and then we'd be blown off. So we'd pull up and go back there. And we kept doing that little drift. It overall, it worked pretty good. We, we pulled some more sea bass off of it. Uh, a lot of throwbacks, but we got some keeper ones. Overall, it was a good time. Just glad to be back offshore after a couple of months. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you've got any other questions, just uh, comment below. And uh, if you'd like to see more, we'll be doing a lot more this summer, so subscribe for weekly updates. And uh, thanks for watching.